Right, in this next video we're going to be looking at collisions and uh, this is going to probably be in your mechanics or applied mathematics class where you're going to be looking at two balls that uh, collide with each other and looking at velocities before and after and you'll also be using E which is the coefficient of restitution. Um, so I'm now going to give an example and say that we have um, two balls, um, M, A and M, B. And we know that M, A, to begin with, has a velocity U, and it's acting in the positive direction. M, B, on the other hand, is sitting stationary. So you have two balls, and one is going to hit another ball. We want to find out what are the velocities after the collision, with um, the coefficient of restitution for the collision being E. So whenever doing a collision question, the first thing to do is to draw out what is actually happening. So I always do this. MA, MB, MA, MB. So this is before, the two dots denotes this is before, and this is after. So before the collision, you have um, U um, going in this direction, this being nothing, and afterwards, we don't know what the values are. So we can just say VA and VB. So the first thing that we can do here is to obviously simplify things out, is use the conservation of momentum. And um, the con we're going to be using two different equations, the conservation of momentum and Newton's law of restitution. We're going to be combining both of these laws together to get two different expressions for the velocity of A and the velocity of B after the collision. So the first thing we do, the reason I put this like this, it's pretty simple. You do the velocity times the mass plus the velocity times the mass equals the velocity times the mass plus the velocity times the mass, which is the conservation of momentum. So here we will get MA plus zero equals VA, MA, VB, MB. So that's one. We've got one equation. And now let's look at a second equation. Now this is something that you need to remember as well. You should know that the, the Newton's law of restitution is going to state that the velocity after minus the velocity of the, uh, of the, the difference of the velocities of the balls after the collision, so VB minus VA is going to equal minus E minus, sorry, minus E multiplied by the velocity of this ball minus the velocity of this ball. So a way of writing that could be VB minus VA equals minus E U2 minus U1. That's, that's, that's exactly what we're going to be using. Now implementing this as this, we're actually going to get VB minus VA to equal minus E and we know that there is zero here, so it's going to be zero, minus U. As we can see, this can simplify out into EU. So now we have two equations. We are getting there, I suppose. So now we're going to plug in, we're going to plug in, we're going to rearrange this, sorry. So let's say we get VB is going to equal VA plus EU. That's just rearranging that. But now we've got this equation. So let's eliminate this VB by adding in VA plus EU. So you're going to get U, MA, is going to equal VA, MA, plus VA, plus EU, all multiplied by MB. Now we just, this is now just simple, um, Algebra, where we're going to be rearranging, uh, moving this around. So I'll do this relatively quicker. Um, and all we're going to do is expand the brackets here first. So we'll get um, VA, MA plus VA, MB plus MB, EU. We need to find out what the VAs are. So we could, sorry, it's U, MA here. We can do this, VA, MA, plus MB, plus MB EU is going to equal, e oh whoops, UMA, 
Now let's just deduct this over onto this side and divide everything. So now we're going to get VA is going to equal UMA minus MBEU all over MA plus MB, which can be simplified further to VA equals U M A minus M B E over M A plus M B. So there we go, that is one of the velocities that we found. And now the next step that we want to be doing is trying to find what the value of VB is. So let's rearrange, well, this equation here. This is what we had, I'll put this aside. This is, you can just rewind or pause if you want to see how I calculated VA again. Um, but let's now find out what VB is. So VA would equal VB minus EU. So that's just rearranging this. And we plug this equation into our conservation of momentum. And now we should get U M A to equal V B minus E U M A plus V B M B. Again, simplify this out. And we should have V B M A minus M A E U plus V B M B. Getting all the VBs in terms of each other, you get MA plus MB minus MAEU. Let's now just wrap this one up and you get UMA plus uh, MAEU over MA plus MB which simplifies into U M A wait yep it's U M A so I shouldn't have this M A is one plus E all over M A plus M B so there we go there you have it. Those are both of your, um, this is how I calculated the velocities of the collisions. Um, in my uh, next video, I will do it with numbers so that we can uh, see how it actually works and leave it in terms of E.